today I'm just going to walk you through my mass exit slips and how I actually use them in my um, classroom and in my planning. So I've got two types of maths exit slip resources that I have currently for sale on my website. This one here is just your basic exit slip. So what it actually shows you is it shows you, um, oh, it looks like this, it has a space for your name, the date, obviously the name being the kid's name, and uh, on the side it's got an I can space, so that's where you could write your learning intention, um, something that they're learning how to do. Then in the middle there's that show your working, so that's where they would show their working out to solve how they can achieve that I can goal. And then there at the bottom there's like a little reflection smiley face. And what they do is they color in the face that they, how they feel reflection after the lesson based on um, showing they're working or the lesson that they've done with you. Um, and then you can look back on that and think about whether they might need another lesson on that or to move up to a different learning intention or just to general gain um, an understanding on how they're feeling. So that's one of the exit slips. The other exit slip um, actually looks if we go back here, those two, there's two there so that you could print it for to a page. Then there's this one here which doesn't have that side piece down the side and that just gives more of a um, box for working out. And there's also two slips there so that you could print for to a page to make them smaller. I have mine quite large, um, but that's because my students like to have work quite blown up. Um, but these ones you can print for to a page if you want to. Um, then there's also this resource as well, which is the exact same one, but this isn't actually on an online version. So what it does is it gives you this page here, looks like this, and you click on the link and it will take you to the online version. And what you can do is you can make a copy for yourself. So file, make a copy, and then you can actually edit these boxes to add your own things in. So you could add your own thing there, write your own learning intention in the box, and then print them out pre-made. And I'm just gonna quickly show you what my ones look like pre-made, because mine looks slightly different. So mine actually look like this. So we use Prime, and what I did was develop a exit slip for each chapter of the book, or for each learning intention in the book. So this first one is I can count, read, and write numbers to 10, and it goes through the different topics in the different chapters, and, um, I have, I print them out and I keep them in the little storage bag. And so what I'll do is quickly show you my modeling book. So this is my class's modeling book. There's the Walt at the top, there's our working, and then actually here on the side is their exit slip. So they've shown their working. So we've got seven and three make 10, this is number bonds, uh, nine and one here. And then this is showing that he wants a little bit more work on number bonds to 10 but Hunter is a little bit more confident. Um, yeah, so it's just a good way to reinforce the learning that's happening in the modeling book um, and so that you can actually make your own, your own ones if you would like to or just use the ones that I have for sale um, in my other resource here, which is these ones. Yeah, so I um, hope you have um, learn a little bit as to how I use them. If you've got any questions about ma exit slips for maths, let me know. Um, I've only been using them for a couple of weeks, but they definitely have helped me get a feeling for how my students are feeling um, and they're more confident with explaining their working and in correlation to their learning intention. So I hope this has helped you. Have a good night.